How's it going, you guys? It's Danyar here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have been having a fantastic day. I was getting questions from people to uh, basically see my streaming setup and stuff like that and where I edit my videos and whatnot. So I was going to make a quick video to show you and also how I have everything connected when you wanted to do a dual PC setup. So starting off, uh, the PC. Hi. Hi, How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> so basically what I have is I have the two monitors. There's the main monitor and then the monitor for the streaming setup. So this is what's gonna run my OBS and my chat and all that stuff like that. And then over here, it's gonna be running my games and that's trying to make it so it's specifically set up for games. And then I also have, I believe I have my, ch uh, my Discord going here. So pretty much everything is sending audio over to this one. So I hear everything normally here, and this one captures all of my audio and puts it into my stream. So there's that. Uh, so this microphone right here is my main mic, and it's a microphone that my chat is gonna hear. And I try to have the nicer one for that. And then over here's a snowball, and this one is what my Discord's gonna hear. Uh, so this one's connected to my streaming PC, and this one's over here with the gaming one. So, how I have those connected and how it's going through is right here I have a Ripsaw, a Razer Ripsaw capture card. Uh, it's kind of important if you wanted to do it connected between both as having a capture card. Um, you can have this one or the Elgato, it doesn't really matter as long as you have an in port and a USB. I don't use the out port um, and I don't use the headphone or the mic connection on this. So basically what I have is the uh, in is going all the way into the back of the gaming. And that goes, so the gaming uh, goes right from the capture card all the way to the capture card. And then I have a, my uh, display port that goes straight into my monitor so that in that way I'm still getting uh, 100, like the max hertz that I can get from my monitor and my, ref, uh, my resolution. Uh, and then so right here, I have the USB. That's gonna go connected straight into the back of the streaming PC. So then that way all information is being sent over there. And you're wondering, another way, so I can show you how I have that. I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna, um, I'm gonna go into the display settings. So I'm not gonna do the screen capture, whatever. But right here, see like right here, this is my main monitor. And right here is the uh, the capture card. And how I have that is I connect it in and then I do extend this display. And then basically just make uh, acts as if the ripsaw or the capture card is its own display. Um, so I do that, exit out of that. And then usually, oh, I forgot as well. Usually I have the display, so I'll open up OBS on this computer. And I'll show you what I do. And then I go down here and I create two different ones, uh, sources right here, or scenes, where one is a game capture and the other one's a display. I don't normally use a display, but I have the, I, I do use the game capture. And what I do with that is I right click on, so right here, I create a screen so you can see whatever, if I'm in game, it doesn't show if I'm not in game, sadly, which is, is okay, because I only really stream games. Uh, but right here is I right click on it. And right here I say full screen projector. Uh, and then I come over here and I send it to the Ripsaw, uh, my capture card. And what that does is then it duplicates uh, my image and sends it over to my streaming. Um, so on actually I'll show you what I do with that one. Uh, in case you're wondering, because I know there's a lot of steps and for me I'm not very knowledgeable. It's a lot of just me finding out so that does take a little bit of time. Um, but so right here for when I do my live stream, I do my video capture device, sorry, and I open that up and right here and it's the Razor Ripsaw. And so when I send the image from that, it'll direct it right into that and then that way I don't get screen tearing because sadly for some reason I've been getting a lot of uh, uh, screen tearing when I stream so I have to run OBS here and then send the image uh, to this one and that helps to get rid of that screen tearing that I have during my stream. I don't notice it when I'm playing and stuff like that. I only notice it when I go back and watch my streams and just see there's a lot of screen tearing. So that's one way to figure, fix that if you're having problems with screen tearing. Um, oh, another thing I want to show right now, uh, I, it was something that I've been looking for a lot and I've been trying to find out, um, but I recently found out, so um, a lot of my uh, gameplay footage, I'll go back and watch and it'll be very, very dark and I'm like, oh, what the crap, why is it doing that? Um, if you go into the capture, right click on it, right here it says filters, push on the filter, go right here and I can you can create a source right here. Once you do, I'm gonna go like this and right here in gamma, you can adjust it going back and forth scrolling it and it'll change the actual image brightness so that you can actually see so if i'm playing a dark game 
I'll adjust it. So this doesn't necessarily stay for me. It's always being adjusted depending on what game I'm playing. So if I'm playing Warzone, then it's less bright. If I'm playing like Bioshock, then it's going to be bright <laughs> so that you can actually see because I'll go back and it'll be like super dark. And it's like, oh, this is a fun game to watch. <laughs> um, but so there's that. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Then I'll show you right here. Go back. So then I have my my keyboard the keyboard goes into my gaming so i have a nice one and then just a generic piece of crap i mean sorry take it back it's a nice keyboard it works fine and that goes into streaming same with the mice and then my headphones my headphones goes connects directly into my pc and then come over here and i'll show you how to do the audio in a second but basically i'm sorry for the cables and stuff like that it's all really messy but yeah so the usb i said from the capture card goes directly into the pc this also has my nice mic for my ch strap my chat the connections the cables and then, then the extra um if they have the monitor they have for the streaming connects just right into here so you don't have to worry about other connections going into the uh to the graphics card so there's that and then i just have some a mic and a camera and stuff like that the camera also goes into the streaming pc because it's going to be what's going to be directed straight into this so and you don't want in that because there's literally no point uh okay now just to show you i think it'll be nice just to show you guys the audio because for me i'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to audio and stuff like that and i've been struggling for a long time because i've been trying to figure out what to, i need i could do to make it work and audio is very complicated at least for me because i just i just don't know um, but I'll show you what I have done to, and it's worked for me. So when I'm trying to stream audio, gameplay footage and everything into my chat or into my stream, what I do is I come over here, come onto this PC, go right, uh, the, I'm going to go over here to the internet. I'm going to go to, what is it called? Uh, real tech high definition, uh, Kodax right here. I'm going to push on that. It's gonna take me here. I'm gonna push on that one. Boom. It's gonna load. Oh. And then right here, I'm gonna choose which one I'm using it for. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna, uh, I'm gonna download this, I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna download it. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna send it over here. It's gonna restart your computer twice. I'm gonna come over here go on to my speakers i'm going to push right click i'm going to go up into open sound settings then i'm going to come into here this next section right here i'm going to go over to the top right and it's going to say sound controls uh, panel i'm going to push on that in here i'm going to go over to first i'm going to scroll down right here it says my real tech uh, high definition this is going to be my default speaker sorry for the brightness my camera's showing right into it uh, high, uh, right here, the uh, Realtek High Definition. That's gonna be my default audio. Then over here, I'm gonna push recording and I'm gonna scroll down. Let's move it over here so it's easier. I'm gonna scroll down to right here and it's gonna say stereo mix. This is gonna be that thing I just downloaded. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna go down to properties. But on the properties, I'm gonna push on, there's general and listen. Push on listen. Then you're gonna push listen to this device and the playback you're gonna put as the rip saw or your capture card high definition. And then you're gonna push apply. What that does, for videos that I saw that talked about this, it shows like a capture card or whatever. It just, it's gotta be whatever the rip saw, your capture card is. It doesn't have to be the same image. I found that, I struggled with that for a little bit because I couldn't find that. But then you gotta continue running on when battery is low. So push okay, done, check. Then you need to push done, check. Right here I have, then I'm gonna go over here my speakers okay that's gonna be that now over on this one i'm gonna go over i'm gonna go to the settings or the same thing i did open sound settings right here and right here i you, as you can see i have the rip saw uh uh razor rip saw speakers uh and so basically that's gonna be my what my original one right here the audio is sending my all my audio to my rip saw and that's gonna come out here so it's gonna have my game audio and everything coming from the rip saw so now when I open up this, I'm gonna exit that out. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I'm gonna open up a game real quick so you guys can see the audio coming through. Right here on when I'm opening up a source for the audio mixer, so I'm gonna do sources, I'm gonna do in a uh, audio input capture. This is what it should say. So when you push up the source and you open right here, you're gonna do the top one. When you click on that, it's gonna open up right here. Open up this bad boy. 
and then it's gonna go up here and it's gonna be microphone ready to rip saw. So it's basically treating it, the that app I downloaded as a microphone. And so you're gonna be the Razer Ripsaw or whatever your capture card is, uh, the uh, microphone for it. And what that does right here, so if you can see at the top, when I'm in my game, it's it's playing. And when it, if you look at it right now, it shows it's super, super loud and it's busting up. The thing is, is it's not necessarily, so even if you have that blue scroll wheel all the way up, it might still be kind of quiet. So if you push on this cogwheel, go to advanced audio, and you look right here, then you right here, you can raise the decibels right there. And you can go up and down with that to raise it. I have it at 21, but I still need to go up a little bit louder because when I go back and watch my stream, it still isn't that loud. So let's actually put it to 24. But yeah, and so you'll have to adjust on that. Uh, I do some test streams where I actually put headphones in and I go back and listen to audio to make sure and or adjust to see how it sounds. But if you're wondering how to make it go past the little blue line and make it louder, that's how you do it. It's in the advanced on the cogwheel of the individual thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the setup. That's what I do. That's how I have my stuff. Nothing too special, nothing too amazing. But, you know, if you're not trying not to spend a bunch of money on, you know, games or not the games, but um, a mixers and stuff like that, this is just an easy way or a, basically a free way because that thing that you download is free, which is really nice. So you don't have to do that. And then I also like some people might ask, you know, why aren't you using like voice meter potato or voice meter banana or whatever these things and that's like an uh basically just some hardware that you can put into it um i haven't had much luck with those and they're very difficult and complicated and for someone who doesn't have the knowledge it's very difficult to actually like use it um so this is just a, a something that i can use it's really easy to use and makes it so i can do what i need to do pretty easily but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video um hope this helps you out if you have any questions you can talk to me i don't have much knowledge but i know for someone who's new this is what helped me and i want to make something like show people how to get started because it is it's super complicated and it's a pain in the butt and it's, i can't even tell you how many hours i spent just researching and trying to figure out how to do it i mean especially for someone who has no knowledge to be able to figure out to make it work this is what's worked for me. So if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button to subscribe and also to come and check me on Twitch. I'll leave links to everything down below. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a good one and we'll talk to you later. Peace.